Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm standing outside of Redbone Alley, which is a staple. It's a classic restaurant in the city of Florence, South Carolina. And this was impromptu, unexpected today, but I noticed that over like the last week, they've been pulling out what they're calling their throwback menu. And they've got an item that's a classic, 20 to 30 years old here at this restaurant, especially for the locals, that uh, we're gonna go in and check out because for some of you, it's gonna be a dish that will give you some good exposure to some Southern cuisine that you have never seen. No rhyme intended. And so we're gonna head inside and check this out among a couple other things. So we'll see y'all on the inside. All right, so this is a classic item of Red Bones, um, but I'm sure a lot of y'all never had this. This is quail and grits, all right? Mushrooms, ham, scallions, tomatoes. Check this out, let's get this one right here. Yeah, yep. Quail and grits. Mm. It's warm, hearty. This is classic. So they got the throwback menu. This is an old item, but I'm glad that they brought it back. Redbone Alley opened, I think, in 1994, I think. But the bottom line is I've been eating there for quite a while and the menu's changed over the years. And so a lot of us locally are really excited about it, but I really feel like it would be a good opportunity to show you guys an item you may have never seen before. Get a little inside glimpse to Southern cuisine. And so, yes, that was quail and grits. And it was really good. That quail was seasoned really well, fried to perfection. Uh, if you don't know what quail is, it's on your screen. And Redbone's always been really good. They were known for sourcing out their items locally where possible. And so just good quality ingredients and real good southern recipes. So if you're ever in the area and you get a chance to go to Redbone Alley, they've got a few different grits-based dishes. There's another particular throwback that I'm looking for. I hope they're going to bring that back. They called it the Chicken Country Gentleman. That was my personal favorite with rice and sugar snap peas. If they do, we'll have to cover that one for you for sure. But like I said, this was impromptu. A little short video, something for you to check out. I do think that Redbone currently has the best buffalo strips in Florence. Should we so happen to go on the hunt for those? I can already tell you ahead of time, they're sitting at number one on my list unless somebody can change my mind. And with that being said, who knows where we may go next as you follow along with this Florence foodie. But in the meantime, y'all take care. Hope y'all enjoyed the quail and grits and we will see you on the next one.